Just think, Maritza, our very first high school dance. Life finally has meaning. Yeah, I bet you'll have a great time. What do you mean? Aren't you gonna go? Nobody's asked me, and the dance is tomorrow night. I doubt it. It's tomorrow night? Hey, watch where you're going. I'm sorry. Phew. What's the matter? <gasps> Hasn't Harvey asked you yet? You want me to say something to him? No, he'll get around to it. I'm sure he will. Boys are just so ridiculous. Ah, uh, come on. You're being too hard on them. <laughs> <laughs> my turn. You're toast. You're soaked. And now my mighty blast. We're in trouble. Yikes! Ah. <laughs> oh, boys! Come back here! Hey! I rest my case. Anyway, he'll call me tonight and ask me. I hope. Hey! I got a brand new party dress you can borrow. It's so pretty. Pink with spaghetti straps? It would look great on you. Are you kidding? You trust me with your new dress? Of course I trust you. We're friends, aren't we? Thanks. I'm going to go shopping this evening, but if I can't find a dress, maybe I'll take you up on it. <laughs> what do you think of this one? <laughs> what are you nominated for? Best performance by a kid pretending to be a grown-up? Too much, huh? Not if you're meeting Queen Elizabeth. Ride'em Cowgirl. Yo, taxi! I wish you'd take this more seriously. It's my first high school dance. I just want to look nice. Hey, excuse me for living several hundred years. This little clam bake have a theme? <sighs> a night of magic. Catchy. I remember my first high school dance. The theme was those wacky druids. So, who's taking you? Duh, Harvey. Bet he hasn't asked you yet. Don't worry, he will. Uh, how did you know? Hey, I know guys. I used to be one. <laughs> I can't wait till tomorrow night. For you, my darling. <gasps> You're so sweet! You call this a high school dance? Where's the boys hanging out by the punch bowl while the girls dance together? Where's the soggy potato chips? The chubby gym teacher chaperone hogging all the pretzels? Get out! You sure know how to spoil a girl's fun. Yeah, well, if old Harvey doesn't ask you soon, you won't have any fun. Oh. Hello? Hi, Sabrina? Why, Harvey? What a surprise. Hi, this is Harvey. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a call. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted to ask, uh, to ask... Oh, shoot. Huh? Hang on, Harvey. I've got another call. Hello? So, did he ask yet? No, but he's trying to right now. I'll put you on hold. Harvey? Uh, you were saying? Oh, yeah. I wanted to, uh... <clears throat> Sabrina, will you... Harvey, hang on. You hang up on me! Sorry. So, did he do it? No, hang on. Harvey? Sabrina, will you go to the dance with me? No! Listen, Harvey. It's me. You really should learn how to use cold waiting. Did he ask? No, hang on. Harvey, I... Hmm. Harvey? Hello? Still me. <sighs> I guess he hung up. I bet he lost his nerve. Hey, 
Why don't you ask him? Great idea. I'll invite him. Why didn't I think of this? I'll do first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going with Ronald's spleen. But he's a band geek. He smells like a bassoon. Very true. But his parents are like getting us a limo, and if I like steal his glasses when we get to the dance, then I can like hide from him until it's time to go home. Cool! I'm going with Max Hacker, who's so hot. Even though he's in a full body cast from trying to ride his board down the escalator rail at the mall and getting sucked under at the bottom. It's okay. He can't dance anyway. <laughs> 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 it's Cassandra. Cass, over here. So, where is he? Harvey's over there. He's setting up the mics for the pep rally. And he doesn't have a date for the dance. We asked around. Oh no! Come on, girls. Let's hook this fish. Poor Sabrina! I can't let Cassandra get Harvey! What is more delicious than snagging another girl's boyfriend for the biggest event of the season? Sabrina will be like so humiliated. <gasps> she won't show her face for a month. Sabrina, you have to be around here somewhere. I wonder what would be more fun, making him beg me to go with him or just telling him it's going to happen. Oh, make him beg. It's like so hot when boys beg. But what if he messes up asking? Isn't the point just to get him to say yes so Sabrina's crushed? Why aren't you here? Well, I won't let Cassandra get away with it. Hey! Whoa! Where are you going? <sighs> uh, um, Harvey, Harvey, will, will you, you go, go to, to the dance, dance with, with me? me? Huh? Okay. Now don't you worry, Sabrina. Uh, the janitor will have the nurse's office cleaned up in no time. Sorry, Miss McCrooney. I think I'll go wait for my aunts. I want to get home and lie down. You got it, hon. Sabrina, I'm so sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, me too. But if you just let me tell you why I did it... I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I can't believe I thought you were my friend. Oh, by the way, I won't need to borrow that dress of yours. Isn't that your little friend Maritza back there looking so sad? <laughs> Some friend. Now, Sabrina, don't tell me you two have had a fight. Why would we have a fight? She only snagged my boyfriend for the biggest dance of the year. But why would we have a fight? Boys, they say they'll be there for you. But you wake up three centuries later and where are they? Now, we're not going to hear about the Belgian Count again, are we? We were going to the King's Ball. He made me promises. <laughs> he made us all promises, Zell. That doesn't mean we believed he'd keep them. <gasps> you never told me he made you promises. Of course not, dear. I knew it would upset you. He said I danced like a princess. <laughs> <sighs> What a family. I can't even be the most miserable one in the car when I want to be. I haven't seen a witch this wigged out over a mortal since, well, since your mom and dad. Of course, he never actually made her barf. It's not just Harvey. It's Marisa. She totally betrayed me. You don't know what she did because you wouldn't let her explain. Give me one good reason why I should. Because she's your friend. You mm. should trust her, not treat her like some backstabbing creep. Whoa, somebody knows a cue when she hears one. You talking to me, hairball? Hey, no, actually, I was talking about you. Mm. Nice place, I don't think. 
What is this, early garage sale? Cassandra, what do you want? Mr. Snipe said no student of his ever missed a class because of a mortal. Even a mortal as cute as Harvey. <sighs> okay, I'll meet you back there. I can't teleport myself. I'm only half witch, remember? Like I could forget that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Snipe gave me a hall pass. Oh, okay. Oh, yuck. I hate the smell of brimstone in the morning. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> What's up with you? You like Harvey too. Marita stole him from you as much as from me. Why aren't you mad? Only losers get mad. I get revenge. What do you mean? I mean, these spells and potions I'm working on are for Maritza. I'm gonna make this a dance she'll never forget. No matter how much she wants to. Wanna help? I don't think that's such a hot idea. I mean, well, she is my friend and... Your friend? Hello? Does a friend steal a friend's date for their first big high school dance? Hmm, sounds like something I'd do. You know what? You're right. Marisa deserves anything she gets. Now you're talking like a witch. Yeah, but how come you want to help me all of a sudden? I mean, you don't even like me. Yeah, I know. But I just hate to see a mortal get the last laugh on a witch, even a half witch. Besides, I ran out of Eye of Newt and Wing of Bat. Can I borrow some? <laughs> Enchantment! And what, may I ask, is going on here? Uh, well... Well, we... That is... We're making potions to ruin the school dance for a girl who stole our boyfriend. You know that we are not teaching you the high arts of magic just so you can make petty attacks on your schoolmates. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And yet, to teach a mortal a lesson, it's a wonderful plan. You go, girls! Hmm. In fact, this might come in handy as well. Simply recite the inscription on the bottom of the box, then open it and point it at the object of your spell. This will bring the ultimate comeuppance to the one who deserves it. Thank you, Enchantra. Have fun! Wow, I can't believe we're actually gonna do this. You better believe it. And we better hurry. The dance starts in a couple of hours. But I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. Then you go home and get ready. I'll bring all of the spell stuff. Really? Sure. I've got my dress all picked out. Well, thanks. Here. Might as well give me Enchantress spell, too. Uh, okay. See you later. Can't wait. And I can't wait to see what happens when I use this on you. No. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. No way. Come on, Salem. I need a date. Oh, this is a terrible idea and a rotten thing to do to Maritza. She's your friend, and I won't help you humiliate her. Nothing you can do will change my mind. Whoa! Hello, handsome. Okay, I'll go. But only because I'd hate to cheat the world out of seeing gorgeous little me. And maybe I can talk you out of this crazy scheme. All I ask is no hairball spitting on the dance floor. I make no promises. Hmm. I don't see Maritza or Harvey. Whoa! Check out the teeth on this dude. Got everything? Right here. Um, don't think we've met. I'm... Don't bother. I'd know you anywhere, catnip breath. Mephista? Whoa, that explains the overbite. You brought your pet rabbit? You brought your pet cat? We're, We're not, not your, your pets. pets. Whatever. Psst, there they are. Hey, that dress is cute. Not for long. Come on, let's show Harvey what he's missing. Wait, I, I can't dance? Not even the bunny hop? 
Hi, Sabrina. Hmm. Ooh, could you be any snootier? Leave me alone, okay? Ugh! Hey, just because I came with you doesn't mean I have to leave with you. Ear of wig and grease of bear. Do something foul with her hair. What? Huh? Oh, yuck! Excuse me! <laughs> Pretty and pink with spaghetti straps. Meatballs might look nice, perhaps. No, not her new dress! Whoa! Oh, gross! I'll see if she needs some help. needs to adjust those hand dryers. Phew. Burnt feathers. Gee, Maritza really looks upset. Nah. You think? <laughs> Maritza, wait up! <laughs> this evening is a disaster. It's all just a big mistake. <laughs> I never should have asked you to the dance in the first place. I only did it because I saw Cassandra coming to ask you. I figured I'd tell Sabrina she could go with you instead of me. But then she got so mad and wouldn't listen. I've messed everything up. I thought Sabrina didn't want to go with me. Huh? She said no and hung up on me when I called to ask her. I'll bet she just got her cold waiting mixed up. She does that all the time. Oh. I hate to say I told you so. No, you don't. Guess I'd better call up Cassandra. Want to go back in? But I'm a wreck. Nah, you look fine. Come on. <laughs> what? No carrots? No more, okay? We're done. It's over. Are you kidding? This is too much fun. Ooh, <laughs> here she comes. Ogre's teeth with bones to crunch. Give that party girl some punch. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Mmm, grape. My favorite. Don't do that again, or you'll be sorry. I'm sorry already. That was so weird. Like she knew it was going to happen. It was just a freak accident. And here comes another one. Sorry, cutting in. Ah! Hmm. For the final touch to top them all, bash her with the disco ball. I look like an ornament from the world's largest Christmas tree. That's it! I've had it with you! I was saving this for later, but I think I'll use huh? it now. Cassandra, what are you doing? For the one who foolishly thinks she's wise, the spell shall cut her down to size! Oh! Uh Well, the cheese stands alone. I hope this has taught you to trust your friends. Yes, ma'am, it has. You gave her some good advice. Not only that, but you're hot. Yes, I know. I assume you'd like to lose the disco ball and punch? Yes, please. And could you fix Maritza, too? When I unfreeze them, all will be normal. And none of the mortals will remember a thing. Goodbye, Sabrina. Hi, Maritza. Hi, Sabrina. You're not still mad, are you? Of course not. You can have Harvey as your date if you want. But what about you? I wouldn't mind trading. Your date is the hottest guy here. I always said this kid had good taste. Huh? 